Sports Professor Rick Haro, Inside the One Part Three Trillion Dollar Business of Sports with your Maxwell matchups. The top three games with off field implications brought to you by the Maxwell Football Club. Number one, the Starco Brands LA Bowl. That's UCLA and Boise State. My, my apologies, I didn't finish the name. You know what it's called? It's called the Starco Brands LA Bowl at SoFi Stadium by Gronk. <laughs> yeah, it was Jimmy Kimmel's bowl last year, remember? Gronk not to be outdone. A stylized entrance. He'll flip the coin. Who knows what else he's going to do. But more important, it benefits when you take a look at the press release. Boys and Cl uh, Girls Club of Metro LA, the STEAM education, youth literacy, physical activity, and obviously UCLA as the Pac-12 rep uh, on the way out and Boise State as well, seeing what happens with them, with Oregon State and Washington State next year. It is a fun respite to understand what bowl games really can mean. That's number one. Number two, the Pool and Weed Eater Independence Bowl. No, 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 it's not that this year. Remember when that was a famous name everybody poked fun of. This is the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. Nothing funny about it. It is a very serious, very historical event. The 11th oldest bowl of all of them beginning in 1924, and look at the programs that are being generated by at Shreveport and the county-owned and publicly-owned stadium. Invests significant amount and gets economic impact. Texas Tech, 6-6, six and six, $200 million in their athletic facilities to try to compete successfully in the Big 12 even more. And then look at Cal. Cal, an ACC school starting next year, even though the last time I checked, they were on the Pacific Ocean side. Bottom line is both of these schools looking to get ahead of the ever-changing curve that is college athletics. That's number two. Finally, number three at the Bounce House, UCF. The Avocados from Mexico Cure Bowl. Obviously, they're promoting their brand in kind of a funny way. People are going to make fun of it, but it is, again, no laughing matter it's a very serious bowl that's generated over $4 million for cancer research and continues to do that through UCF as well as the city of Orlando and its environs. And the two schools, the MAC champ and the Sunbelt champ, it's an annual tradition focusing significant dollars and economic impact on not only the area, but also ESPN. It's one of 17 college football bowl games owned or controlled by ESPN events. And as long as that continues, look for the bowl games to be front and center on ESPN's list from the beginning on a Saturday to well after New Year's Day. That's really important as well. Top three games with off-field implications this week. The Maxwell matchup brought to you by the Maxwell Football Club.